Perfect. Okay. Uh, I don't even see the, the slides showing on the Zoom thing, but well, if you can see, that's, that's all that matters. Um, so yeah, um, hello and welcome again, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. My name is Mohamed. I am the Community Communications Manager for Wikidata and Wikibase, and I'm based in Berlin. It's a cold, rainy day here in Berlin. Um, yeah, at least for I am. Uh, with me to give a quick intro to the Wiki, the Wikibase data model is my colleague, Georgina. Georgina is a Partnerships Relationships Manager at the Wikidata Wikibase team. So let's get into it. Um, before we go into the presentation, a little bit about Wikimedia Germany as an organization. So we are a Wikimedia Foundation affiliate that was founded in 2004. Um, the Wikimedia Foundation is this umbrella body that supports the various Wikimedia affiliates in so many countries. So Wikimedia Germany is one of the oldest affiliates and also the largest chapter in the Wikimedia movement. Currently, it has over 140 employees. Um, Wikimedia Germany has a dedicated software development department um, as you may know, Wikidata started here at Wikimedia Germany, and for a long time, Wikidata was the primary software product that we developed and maintain. Um, in the past few years, we started actively working on Wikibase as its own separate product, and that is what we are going to be talking about in this presentation. However, we can't really talk about wiki data, uh, wiki page without, you know, giving an overview of what wiki data is. So that is how these two products are, are, um, are intertwined. They are so much connected to each other. So let's start at the very beginning. How did it all start? What is wiki data? Um, wiki data is a sister project of Wikipedia, the well-known Wikipedia. Um, it was launched in 2012. It is one of the youngest of the Wikimedia projects. So there are several projects within the Wikimedia um, movement. Wikipedia is one of them. We have Wikidata, we have Wikisource, and Wikimedia Commons, and a lot of um, other projects. Now, Wikidata is a free knowledge base. That is what makes it special. It contains structured database, uh, structured data based on facts and references, you know, that anyone can edit and reuse. Um, Wikidata is linked to other databases via external identifiers, we call them. Those databases could also be linked to other databases and even interlinking back to Wikidata at some point. And when these databases are open as Wikidata is, then that is, you know, um, this data network is what we call linked open data. Um, the data on Wikidata is released under CC0 license, which means Wikidata's data is in the public domain. It has no exclusive intellectual property rights applied to it. Wikidata is made for humans and machines and is available for anyone to use, whether on Wikimedia projects as it was originally intended to be or outside of it, as is mostly the case now. Um, Wikidata is part of the Wikimedia projects, like I said earlier, and like all of its sister projects, it is multilingual and it has no language barriers. Um, we see around 25,000 active editors on Wikidata per month. And by active editors, what I mean is um, people who make at least one edit in the last um, sorry, people who have made at least one edit in the last 30 days. So uh, those are active editors uh, by definition. Um, Wikidata has more than 95 million items and over a billion statements and, you know, describing all kinds of things and concepts and objects. Majority of all of these edits are made by bots. Um, how is the data on Wikidata modeled? So on Wikidata, things are modeled based on triples. And the three different parts of a triple make up what we call a statement. 
So here there's an item identifier which has a QID 19526. And there's a property instance of and the value which is human. So each statement at an item page links to a property and assigns it some value. Um, in plain language, a triple can um, a triple is basically a statement containing a subject, predicates, and an object. So in this example, my angle is an instance of a human. Aside from the basic triple model, we can also add extra details to sort of contextualize Wikidata statements. And what do I mean by that? So we can do so by adding qualifiers and references to statements. Qualifiers allow uh, statements to be expanded on and annotated beyond what is, um, what is expressed. So for example, um, the statements, my Angelou award received National Women's Hall of Fame, we can add the simple property value pair point in time. Okay, point in time, 1998, to sort of add a bit of context to when the statement was, uh, when this award was received. Then we may also add a reference or as many references as we want to point to specific sources that back up, you know, that claim of her receiving that award in that point of time. After all, we want to see the Wikidata statements are supported by some verifiable source of information. Now, the last part of a Wikidata triple are the, the values. So in this slide, we have four different states. One of them is my Angelus place of birth is St. Louis, or my Angelus award received in the National Women's Hall of Fame, and so on. These values themselves are items with their own QIDs um, that also sort of have their own statement that describe them. And that makes it possible for item A to be linked to item B to C and so on. But not all values at the end of a triple are items though. For example, date of birth within necessarily be an item or you know, the point in time and what was received or some other quantitative value in general wouldn't necessarily be um, items by themselves. Now we um, we know that there's a, th there are you know 95 million plus items on Wikidata and a billion statements covering all sorts of knowledge and that's that's a lot of information stored in the knowledge graph and this data has got to be used by someone right so there are so many different ways that people reuse uh, the data on Wikidata. One of the, the most popular ways is the query is to query Wikidata's knowledge base using a tool called the Wikidata Query Service. The query service is basically a Sparkle endpoint, Sparkle being a query language where you can ask questions to Wikidata and get results in the form of lists or you know, nice graphs or visualizations as a result. Um, and I'm going to show a few examples in the next slides. So what you are looking at here is a map generated by the Wikidata query service that shows airports of the world that are named after a person. And even more interesting, the color of the dots represents um, the gender of, of the person. Or in this slide, you can have this bubble chart that has the occupation of accused witches. And yes, in case you are wondering, that kind of data does exist on Wikidata. And finally, here's an example of a timeline of coup d'etats that happened in the, the 21st century. So having introduced Wikidata, now let's talk about what Wikibase is. And I'm going to pass it on to George to tell us more about that. So then, George, what is Wikibase? 